Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business to so be ordered at a physically same discount call 080-912-444-49. Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job for no performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professionals from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable way? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled to go global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impact Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from expert novice to expert legend. This is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? 
then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the global trade twitter.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right, good evening everyone and thank you for joining again today. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Remember, this is Import Export Platform from Three First Street Academy. Uh, we are on to another session of um, AFCFTA exploring the potential of uh, Nigerian states. Uh, we are on episode 25, and today we are looking at Quara State. If you are here to get the book Built to Go Global, this is a book that basically explains to you why export businesses fail. It's actually designed for both uh, intending and existing ex uh, exporters, for those that are intending exporters to be able to prevent failure, for those that are uh, existing exporters to be able to ensure that um, they have to build a su sustainable export business, sustainable export business. If you're also looking to get the previous episode, remember this episode 25, so we've actually have 24 episodes of this program. We are going by state by state in Nigeria. If you are interested in having access to the previous version of the of previous session of this program, do well to reach out um, to visit our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, drop your comment, and click on notification bell. And click on notification bell um for you to be able to know when we'll for you to be able to know when we'll um upload a new video all right now Now, um, African Export Business Platform is a Telegram channel. And through this channel, we are able to uh, drop the link to this program every Saturday. So if you are joining us for the first time and you do not belong to any of the platform where we would typically drop this link, if you, if, you are, uh, if you are not on any platform where we would typically drop the link to this program every Thursday, please join the Telegram channel. Click on, I mean, search for African Export Business Platform on Telegram, and you will be able to get to meet us, uh, get the link there and join us every week. So we've been to Abia State, we've been to Adamawa, we've been to Akwa Ibon, we've been to Anambra, we've been to Bauchi, we've been to Bayelsa, we've been to Benue, we've been to Bornu and Cross River, we've been to Delta, we've been to Ebonyi, we've been to Edo, we've been to Ekiti, we've been to Enugu. We've been to Gombe, Imo, Jigawa, and Kaduna. We've been to Kano, we've been to Kasina, we've been to Kebi. Last week, we were in Kogi State. And this week, we are still in North Central, Kwara State. Next week, we'll be in Lagos. <laughs> and we'll be discussing agro commodity that Lagos can export. But today, we are in Quara State. So join me as we explore this state called Quara State. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. 3T Impex Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. 
and will today. All right. So as usual, we have seven major area of consideration for every state in Nigeria. We have a preamble, which we basically uh, try to look at the opportunity in different states. Then we look at the peculiarity of the state in terms of uh, population, uh, um, what the state have in terms of number of people, male, female, um, location, boundaries and the like. Then the profile, looking at the income, uh, the debt, and of course the, um, the budget of the state, uh, then the potential, what the state is capable of exporting, which is our focus actually. And then the purchasers, that's what we're looking at, um, those that are buying and the volume they buy of such product the state produce. Then a proposal on what the state can do for SME, and of course the profit, how the state can profit directly from the SME. So we are up to Quara State. Why must Quara State export or support exporters to avoid over depending on federal location? And this is the situation of many states in Nigeria over dependence on federal location. To be able to boost the GDP of the state, to create opportunity for SME to grow, to avoid over dependence on domestic market, sorry, to decrease dependence on domestic market, to end export proceeds and grow revenue of the state. Uh, we are in election season, and I don't know the kind of question you are asking your governors. I feel we should be asking the intending governors or those contesting, we keep telling us, I will build road, I will build school, I will do this, I will do that. We should be asking the question, how, 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 how will you get the money? How we, are you going to depend on tax from people that are not even pay well enough? Or you are going to depend on federal allocation? And export proceeds and grow revenue for the state. Farming and real life become more lucrative through export. It can help the state to gain global market share and recognition. Export can make the state to be home of creativity and innovation. It's an industrial catalyst for the state in Nigeria. It can help in job creation for youth. It can help the state to know the value of what the state has as competitive advantage in the international market. It can help the state to lead true revenue generation for others to follow. It can make the state to be independent of federal allocation. There are numerous incentives for exporters in the state opportunity to maximize the indigenous of the state abroad. Poverty eradication opportunity for the state. The state through export can quit the league of state depending on wasting assets like oil. It can help the state to revive its economy, slow down and urban migration, a tax-free opportunity for exporters in the state and helping the state people, I mean company and businesses to utilize their ideal capacity. It can make a state become viable. You know, for those that have been following this, you will agree with me that a lot of Nigerian states are not viable. If you have been following me, you will agree with me that a lot of Nigerian states are not viable. In the sense that this state on its own cannot sustain, cannot even pay salary. It cannot meet up with its recurrent expenditures, talk less of capital projects or capital expenditures. Why? Dependence on federal allocation. Dependence on federal allocation. It's a wealth creation opportunity for the citizens of the state. The state can, it can be said to extract the potential of product found in the state for export. Export can make the state to yearn for more improvement because of the competition abroad. And the state can zero in on its area of strength. So what do you see in Quara today? What do you see in Quara State today? Some people have chosen to see a challenge of unemployment, and I agree with you. I'm not discounting. And each time I talk about this, I always talk about the fact that I am not discounting the challenges we have in this sector of the economy in Nigeria. I'm not discounting it at all. What I've just tried to do is to focus on the opportunities. 
why not discounting the real issue around unemployment, of course. You can choose to focus on poverty. Some people choose, choose to focus on um, frustration. But you know what? I would recommend you focus on the opportunities in farming. This is why people are coming into Nigeria. Why we are experiencing a lot of jackpot syndrome. Businesses are coming into Nigeria to set up. Even some diaspora are coming back into Nigeria to set up different businesses. Different businesses, opportunities in farming, opportunities in mining, and there are, of course, opportunities in our population. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll be discussing the peculiarity of Kwara State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. Peculiarities. Kwara State was formed out of the former Northern region in, in, in the 27th of May 1967 by the regime of General Yakubu Gowon. At its creation, the state was made up of former Ilorin and Kaba province of the Northern region and was initially named the West Central State, but later changed to Kwara State, a local name for, a river, for the river Niger. Its capital is Ilori, located in northwestern Nigeria. Kwara uh, State occupies 36,000 square kilometers. 36,000 square kilometers. In 1976, state creation exercise, the Ida, the Kina portion of the state was excised to merge with a part of them Benue Plateau State to form Benue State. On August 27, 1991, five local government areas, namely Oyi, Yagba, Okene, Okei, and Kogi, were also excised to form part of the new state called Kogi State. Kwara is bounded by in, in the north by Niger State, in the south by Oshun, Oyo State, Oshun, and Ikiti State, and in the east by Kogi State, and in the west by Republic of Benin. Because of its unique geographical position, the state refers to as the gateway between North and South. The main ethnic group are Yoruba, Fulani, Nupe, and Baruba. Islam and Christianity are major religion in the state. The state nickname State of Harmony share boundaries with the Republic of Benin, and famine is a major occupation of the people in the state. Total land area of the state, like I said, 35,000 35, square kilometers. This state has 16 local governments. Male population, population is about 3.39 million people. Vegetation is tropical savanna. Major crops, rice, cotton, cocoa, tomato, sugarcane, millet, cassava, soya beans, maize. Benny seed or sesame seed, palm produce, and ginger. On the southern Indian side, we have quartz, limestone, marble, fespa, clay, kaolin, granite rocks, silica sand, and dolomite. If you look closely at this state, you will see opportunities in sugarcane and rice, shea nut and soya beans, quartz and cement, sesame seed, ranching, and wood. Still in this state, Competitive advantage involved the fact that it's a gateway between North and South. It has an international cargo airport, key agricultural based research institute, high deposit of minerals, and central for tourism. Central for tourism. Now, can we look a little bit into Kwara State and see the level of unemployment? This state have a working age population out of about three point, um, out of about three point. 
3.4 million people in Kwara State. About 2 million are of working age population. Working age population. 551,000 are not in the labor force. Even among the 1.4 in the labor force, only 97 are gainfully employed that are working up to eight hours a day. Up to eight hours a day. Pretty much a quarter of the state do not have a job. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, then we'll now be looking at the profile of the state. What is the debt profile of the state? What is the level of income of the state? What is the focus of the state? Is it capital or operating expenditure? Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impact Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Profile. Now, can we look a little bit more at Quara State? This state have a debt uh, IGR of about 30.65 billion before COVID. Obviously, COVID reduced it significantly. And federal government allocation of about 50 billion. So technically, about $80 billion, the income of this state, just before COVID. The debt of this state is about $81 billion also. When you combine the domestic debt plus the foreign debt. But let's look at the total income structure. IGR is contributing about 30%. Now, as low as this might seem to you, this is better than many states in Nigeria. Many states in Nigeria are between 15 and 20. Many states. But that Quara is even up to 30. Kudos, kudos to Quara. For it to be up to 30, this is commendable in my opinion. Even though it's still very low, because there is still a huge dependence. 70%. 70% of this state income is from Abuja. Now, look at something else. Look at the operating expenses of the state. Operating expenses of the state is actually 51 billion. That means this state is among the state that is not viable. This state cannot sustain itself. This state has 70% of its income. 70% of the income of this state is spent on paying salaries, recurrent expenditure. The state is not investing a lot in capital projects. And this is so sad. The state is not in, in, uh, uh, putting a lot into capital projects, which is very, very, very sad. According to budget, what does budget have to say about Kwara State? The state of harmony may have achieved some level of fiscal harmony <laughs> as it's able to move from 12th position on the budget's ranking in 2020 to 10th position in 2021. Kwara State is the best performing state within the North Central region. It has maintained a decent position. Kwara recurrent expenditure also dropped by 28% between the fiscal year. Uh, of 2019 and 2020. Of course, COVID contributed significantly. 
The state reduced its capital expenditure year on year from 29 to 22. Nothing, nothing the state's capital expenditure performance, it is observed that Quara was the ninth lowest spender, ninth lowest spender on capital expenditure. On capital expenditure. When RAC alongside that state of the federation, in terms of capital, per capita, uh, 6,272 per citizen is this money spent on capital expenditure, which is below the national average. National average is 8,000 in terms of amount each state is spending per citizen on capital expenditure. And this is slightly lower than the national median, which is 66. Uh, 6,612. In terms of IGR performance, the state did not perform well. Another percentage decrease of 36% being moved from 30 to 19 during COVID. The state had third worst decline during COVID. Looking at the component of Quara state IGR, it can be seen that the largest negative change was recorded in MDA revenue, which dropped from 17.35 in 2019 to 10 in 2020, representing 40% reduction. Yet, Quara State still has the highest IGR within the region. In 2020, exceeding play two states by almost 500 million. The state debt profile relatively low as its debt stock had a minimal increase of 4.5%. Total debt from 2020 ran from 73 to 77 and to 81 for foreign debt. State owned the state owned 14.4 billion due to the in April 2020 uh, Central Bank of Nigeria rate devaluation of 306380 find that increase approximately from 3.4 to 17. You know the challenge is as the devaluation is happening now. As of today, the rate on the eye window is 3.4. I will tell you 430. This is the challenge of foreign debt for Nigerian state because you know it's like you borrow money. And the, the value of what you are paying back keep increasing. The value of what you are paying back keep increasing. The value of what you are paying back keep increasing. Because of devaluation, I think it's better the state just borrow locally. Or the state can generate dollar itself by exporting, which is what we'll be discussing today. We'll go on a short break when we come back, we'll be discussing the potential of Quara State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. So what are the potential? You know, these are the, these are the major uh, cross of the matter. This is why uh, this program is being done every week. We are trying to analyze every state in Nigeria and to show that Nigerian states are millionaires in dollars, probably billionaires in dollars, only that the managers of the state are not doing their job. The managers of the state are depending on allocation sent to them. You know, and I've maintained this on several occasions saying that, you know, Nigerian state are run like a man who has a family and the man will sleep and wake up, do nothing for the whole month and he will be able to feed his family without doing anything. Otherwise called federal allocation. That means a state government, and you know, it's so interesting Nigeria. <laughs> Rather than ranking a state governor on how much he has increased revenue, how much he has generated income for the state, how much he has been able to uh, 
boost human capital in the state, we will be ranking based on infrastructure, road, bridges, buildings that can depreciate. Depreciating asset. The human capital development is not used to run governance in Nigeria. The income generation to be able to de I mean, uh, take care of all the new of the states is not being used. So that any, like someone was saying that, look, anybody can be a governor because look, if, if all you need is to say, okay, you want to build school, okay, allocate money for school, allocate money for work. It's so easy because there's not so much thinking going on into how do we make money for the state apart from the tax we collect from the workers in the state. All other government uh, services in which statutorily you collect income. How does the state make money? Can we look at the potential of Quara State? Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy of Quara State. And principal cash crop include cotton, cocoa, coffee, cola nut, tobacco, Benny seed, palm produce. Benny seed is another name for uh, sesame seed. Benny seed is another name for sesame seed. Sesame seed, that tiny white stuff you see on hamburger. And palm produce. Agricultural Institute located in the state, agricultural and rural training, management training institute, National Center for Agricultural Mechanization and uh, Niger River Basin Authority, all located in the Lorin and Agricultural Research Project of Alfred Mawulowo University at Bella provide farmer with vital information on modern agricultural techniques. Also, minerals resources found in the state include limestone, limestone, uh, mabu, fespa, kaoli, quartz, granite, rock. Now, industries in the state include quara berries, quara berries, Ijago Global Soap and the Target Industry, United Match Company, Tate and La, uh, is it Tate and Lyle Company? <laughs> is it not? Resino Plus Plastic Industry. Pharmatex, Nigeria Limited, Quara Textile and Quara Furniture Company, all in Ilorin. Other man, paper manufacturing industry in Jeba, Okim Foam and Okim Biscuit in Ofa. K Plastic, Gonu, Quara Paper Converter Limited at uh, Eride. Others are Sugar Processing Company. Vasita, Quara Animal Feed Mall, Ilorin and Agricultural Product Company. Basita. Major crops, apart from cash crop, include rice, cashew, cotton, cocoa, tomato, sugarcane, millet, cassava, soya beans, maize, sesame seed or benny seed, palm produce, ginger, minerals, quartz, limestone, fespa, clay, quality, granite, rock, silica, sand, and dolomite. Now, who are the purchaser and what is the market size? of this product that this state produced. Who are the purchaser and what is the market size? Number one, corn. The market size for corn is 36.3 billion. Majority of the buyer in Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, in Europe, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, in North, Amer North America, Mexico, Canada, United States, even in Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Peru, and Colombia. Let's look more at Africa. 3.73 billion. Now, please, we are discussing FCFTA. Let me make this announcement. I'm sure some of us will be aware by now that we have been discussing, we've been doing seminar on AFCFTA for about two, for more than two years now, going to three years, from 2020 around, the, I think, May. So almost two and a half years now just preparing the ground for the opportunity that are available for Nigeria under AFCFT. And let me say this at this point that look, please note, please note that it is now, it is now, it's no more a pipe dream that AFCFTA is a reality. 
It is no more a pipe dream. It is no more a pipe dream. Today, AFCFTA trading has commenced. The first trading was done from Kenya to Ghana, and it was export of battery, excite battery to Ghana. $77,000 worth of transaction cleared at the port of Tema in Ghana. Ghanaians have also done their shipment. Rwanda have also done shipment. The payment platform created for this purpose have also begun to function. Nigeria already effected payment in Naira to Ghana and the Ghanaians uh, supplier of the product is receiving payment in Ghana cities. I'm basically saying that AFCFTA has come to stay. So all the effort, noise, program on radio, on TV, on Thursdays, is, is we can, the, the old essence is becoming uh, obvious to us. The question is this, how ready are you or Nigerian business community? I was on the radio program with the National National Committee Chairman, I mean, Executive Secretary last week, Wednesday, and he said, now that AFCFD trading has started, there is pressure on the government of Nigeria. You know the way our civil servant is. Everything is so slow, not giving priority. Whereas some countries are eager to be the first. We are not even bothered at all. Now they are under pressure to ensure the processes that will be involved in the Nigerian part to be able to get certificate of origin under AFCFTA to be the, the process of shipment under AFCFTA to be approved by the government, but we needed custom Ministry of Trade, all, all, the, all the people, and it's been so, so slow. So, so slow. But you know what? Either it's slow or not, it's a reality for other countries. I hope we will be able to take advantage of this as a country. Okay, rice, $24.7 billion, that's the market. But in Africa, look at the market in Africa, it is six billion dollars. Africa eat a lot of rice. <laughs> Africans eat a lot of rice. Ben uh, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire. Ben, uh, ben actually is not actually buying up to that. Most of the rice in Ben are coming to Nigeria. Cashew nut. Cashew nut. Cashew nut, cashew nut, 7.46 billion. And that will be the example I'll be using on how Sarah Kate can generate money directly from export. Cashew nut, 7.6 billion. Vietnam, China, India, Germany, United States are the major market worth considering. In Africa, the demand is low. In Africa, the demand is low. Demand is just about uh, $83.1 million. How about cocoa beans? 9.56 billion. Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, France, Malaysia, United States, Singapore, Turkey, Indonesia. However, in Africa, the demand for cocoa is low because we produce a lot of cocoa. Ghana, Tunisia, Egypt buying $54.2 million. Soya beans, one of the products that we have neglected that is money spinner. We focus on cocoa. Cocoa market is just about $9 billion. Soya beans is 55. Instead of doing products, focusing on products that give us money, we focus on products that are traditional to us. China, Japan, Spain, Mexico. China alone is buying almost 60% of traded soya beans in the world. You need to investigate why. Soya beans is more than food now. Soya beans is replacing some hydrocarbon products. Polymers. A lot of polymer, polymer product that has gotten from crude oil are now going to be processed using uh, soya beans. A lot of research is going on that regarding the US, and uh, China is using it for a lot also. Soya beans demand in Africa, 1.73 billion. Raw sugar. Raw sugar market, 21.8. That's from sugar cane. In Africa, the demand for sugar is 4.85 billion. Then lastly, cotton. 
$15.4 billion, $15.4 billion. In Africa, the demand is $33.38 million. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we will be talking about the proposal I have for the Quara State Government. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impex Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Proposal, proposal, proposal. Here is my proposal to this government of Quara State. Now, I will use cash notes in my proposal and profiteering of, uh, from export by Quara State government. You know, if you look at the value chain of, of agri, you have the production, you have the harvesting and transport, you have the primary processing and storage, secondary processing and storage, uh, surgical processing and packaging, market skin and sales, logistics, export, and distribution. Now, when an SME is involved in this, either the same SME or even a different SME is involved in this, look at what I found out. I discovered that that value chain is not efficient that value chain will not be efficient. And do you know what? This is the challenge in Nigeria. You have inefficient value chain operator because they're all SMEs, low processing capacity and low output, few job creation, low quality and packaging, high cost of production, and non-competitive product in the export market. So here is my take of what the state government needs to do. The state government need to set up a processing plan. Let's say, for example, cashew nut. I can go and buy raw cashew nut from farmers, take it to the factory. The factory will shell the cashew nut. Having shelled the cashew nut, the factory will roast the cashew nut. The factory will package the cashew nut. When I come back, I'm coming to pick a fully branded cashew nut, roasted cashew nut in my brand name. As an SME2 who has bought raw material from SME1, I don't need to worry about NAFTA. I don't need to worry about power. I don't need to worry about, because there's a big gigantic factory that is processing all this for me. That is processing all this for me. And I pay them per unit. Maybe they are charging me 50 Naira or 100 Naira. This is a company that is set up public-private partnership, not for profit, but generating enough to keep it afloat, but operated by private sector. And they're able to pay salaries, maintain the factory, but it's government that invests in it, but it's self-sustaining, not the type that was built in one of the states in which the governor is boasting he has built this factory, he has built this factory, he has built, but he's looking for people to come and buy it and operate it, rather than do a model where you have a plug-in of SME who can bring in raw material and process, SME too can focus on market development, not on abdac issues, not on power, not on infrastructure. This kind of model, I saw it for the first time in the UK, I was blown away. And I said, why don't we have this in Nigeria? If you find yourself in the UK, we have a factory in Leicester and the factory in Leicester process, just bring your raw material, they've, you've, already, they've already done your design for you. You already have a design, you agree with your logo and everything. They print your design. So in two weeks, you bring in maybe a truckload of cashew nut. In two weeks, you're going away with a truckload of processed cashew nut, fully packaged, ready for export. 
this creates efficient value chain operator. We are still leaving the SM in critical area so we can create jobs, high processing capacity and high output because of a large company. Good quality packaging and packaging, low cost of production and competitive product in the export market. Increase job creation because of the SME. Increase job creation. Decrease inequality and of course, decrease insecurity. In order to support exporter in this state, to enter export market in Africa, Europe, and America in a secure and sustainable way, the states can do the following. Partner with a representative at export destination to secure market. Set up warehousing for pickup by wholesaler and retailer. This is the capital project I'm expecting state government to be doing. Set up warehouse, buy warehouse, build warehouse at destination for your people to sell. You know, sometimes these things are just, it's just amazing how I, I can't understand the way our governors think. I can't understand the, the it's, so, it's just so sad how we are not so developmentally oriented in such a manner that we can become very visible in the international market. Chinese companies, you need to know what Chinese companies do. I mean, Chinese government do. Chinese government set up entities that buy raw material and keep it for private sector. Whenever private sector need, they will sell the private sector at a good rate. So when the raw materials are going to buy and buy and keep, I think investing in everything in the value chain that is where capital project to support their businesses. No wonder they are pulling a lot of people out of poverty. Set up an entity, agent or digital destination, partner with independent agent or digital destination, organize and sponsor manufacturer for exhibition in the export market. Now, how can the state profit directly from export? Here is the model we are recommending for the government of Kwara State. Now, Kwara State has an arable land mass of about 1.4 million hectares. Let's assume the state decides to use half of that to cultivate cashew nuts at a yield per hectare of 0.8 per metric tons. The state can generate 565,000 metric tons. That's already more than the whole production of Nigeria. At a price of $1,500 per metric ton, the state can generate $848 million. If you convert at the estimate of 450, that's $352 billion. The budget of this state this year is $189 billion. The state will have been able to pay off the farmers who will make about 50% profit on the farming of this product pay the cost of farming, pay the profit of farmer, and pay the cost of export. How can this happen? Here is our recommendation. The state partner with a private company to set up a special purpose bank to SPV. The state provide fund while the SPV provide expertise. The SPV form farmer into cooperative across the state, give the farmers guarantee to go and farm cashew, provide training and input support for farmers. SPV provide collection center for the farmers. For the others, SV clean and process the product for export. SV source for buyers, do documentation and shipment. SV present document to buyers bank for payment. The SV pay farmers share the balance with the state. The state have a larger share, the state have more than enough to be able to carry out a developmental operation and, pro and, and purposes. Now, what this basically is showing me is do a state government, just the way federal government is trying to do oil oil that they are stealing and stealing every day. A state government can make money directly from export by working with private sector. Just the way government make money from oil by working with the oil makers. The impact of suggested model for a state government goes beyond generation of revenue by export. It has humongous impact on employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. This, in my opinion, is a more effective, efficient, and enduring model for diversifying the economy of any state in Nigeria. This model can also be replicated by federal government at the federal level, especially for the exportation of solid minerals. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, round up. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? 
Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. Are you so next week, we are coming to Lagos. <laughs> we are coming to Lagos next week. And I have an interesting product, Lagos to consider for export. Lagos is already making a lot of money, really. But we'll still discuss Lagos all the same. If you are yet to get the book built to go global, either you are new into export, you want to avoid pitfall, or you are ready into export and you want to ensure you have sustainable export business, not like business, uh, not like exporters who have been in the business and today are no more in the business because they could not sustain the challenges uh, of the business then get the book built to go global. If you want to get a copy of the recording of this program, visit our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Like, share, drop your comment, and remember to click on the notification bell. African Export Business Platform is a platform designed to provide links to this program every week. Join us on Telegram to be able to get to know more about, to be able to have access to the link that we provide every week from the AFCFTA program. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impex Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? Do you deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled to go global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 33% discount, call 080 912 44449. Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job with your performance? You desire a change with better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve income export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. 
You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right, thank you very much, everyone. See you next week as we come to discuss Lagos. Have a wonderful weekend and bye-bye.